Okay, Janine, when we first met for the American Graduate Project, uh, it was Alabama Public Television who invited, how many partners was it, do you remember? I don't know, it was a lot, it was about 30 or so that yeah. were there around the table that first day. And what was so exciting about it, I think, was that there were early childhood literacy folks that came to the table. Because when you think about American graduate, what do you normally think about? High school students. Yeah. But both of us, being involved in early childhood literacy, know the importance of engaging parents early in the learning of their child. And so what kind of things did the library uh, bring to the table? Well, we were excited when we started talking, and I think ideas just flowed from both of us uh, that day of, of the things that we could bring to the table. And one that came up really um, quickly was summer reading and how important it is for children to be involved in the summer uh, when they're out of school, not only to read for fun, uh, to have activities with their parent, but to, so they won't have that summer slide when it comes when they're ready to go back to school in the fall. Dream ability. We all need it, but do we all have it? Not much dreamability here. Now there's some potential for dreamability. What was that? That was a pig telling us to read. That's reasonable. Dream big, dream big. What was that? That was a frog telling us to dream big. Wow. Wow. Dreamability. Are you covered? And I think what happened there is that with Reach Out and Read Alabama, who engages pediatricians in, they, they use that model of well child visits to engage families, especially parents, in daily reading by giving them a book. We saw an opportunity to merge those two models together and to use what you guys are doing in the summer with summer, your summer reading program. Mm -hmm. And then out of those ideas flowed a prescription for summer reading. Yeah. And so why don't you just talk a little bit about what happened uh, on the library side. Well, wonder, uh, thank goodness we have a wonderful graphic artist and PR department. Uh, we had the summer reading graphics, and so we said, why, why don't we just develop a prescription pad using our summer reading graphics? And we talked about how we could use it in Birmingham. And then, of course, we thought, oh, well, we can just take this whole thing statewide. And so we developed two uh, prescription pads, one particularly for the Birmingham um, mm -hmm. area, and then one for the whole state of Alabama. And with your connections with Reach Out and Read and the pediatrician's office, we thought, this is great. We can get it into their hands. We can promote summer reading. Uh, they can drive their young patrons or, or their young patients and parents into the library. And it did work out well because we have about 70 practices and clinics across the state that are participating in um, Reach Out and Read. They see about 150,000 children a year at well child visits. So it made perfect sense for them to do something they were already doing, which is writing prescriptions and giving it to the families. So not only did that encourage them to expand their resources for reading but also to go to the library and maybe take part in summer reading that they've never done before. Mm -hmm. And we saw a lot of even uh, pediatricians that were not already involved with Reach Out and Read who showed an interest because they wanted to jump on the, the bandwagon and, and use the prescriptions as well. So I think uh, we encouraged some interest in Reach Out and Read and made pediatricians think about their local public library and how we could partner um, all year long on activities. Not so. just in the summertime. Right. One of the best things that happened is I got a personal thank you note from the children's librarian at a Birmingham Public Library here in town and they talked about how many more patrons, how many more people had participated mm -hmm. in their summer reading program and they actually brought in their prescriptions for summer reading. So yeah. I think it was a great success and it I look was. forward to it next year. Me too. I'm already excited and thinking about how we can uh, get started even earlier and be uh, have much greater success next year. Me too. So thanks Janine to a great partnership. Thank you. Okay, tell me what it was like when your doctor gave your son a book for the first time at, her, at his six month checkup. Well, he grabbed it and started chewing on it. <laughs> and did he like it? Did he, he like toss it away and just chew on it. He tried to open it. Uh -huh, that's good. Were you glad the doctor gave you and your son a book? Mm-hmm. Uh, did the doctor show you how to read to your son? I already knew how. You already knew how to read? That's really important. 
Uh, did you read the book that you got or others that she's given you at home with your son? Mm-hmm. And do they you had like single words on me, just in the just had one word on each little page. Uh-huh. Is there a special time that you like to you all like to read together? No, some days it's just I don't do it every day, it's just some days I do it with him. Uh-huh. Oh good. Okay. Uh when did you start taking your son to the library? At seven months. At seven months old. Does he have fun at the library? What kind of things does he do when you're at the library? He go he picks up the books and off the shelf and open them and hand them to me. <laughs> uh, that's good. Um, do you think it's important? Why do you think it's important to read to him? Um, because he's already smart and I want him to be with words and colors and stuff. So when he get ready to go to kindergarten, he can be already familiar with the stuff. That's good. Yeah. So what's his favorite book? Does he have a favorite? Mm -mm. I don't think he quite, quite, quite understands. But he just likes the colors and the uh -huh. pictures and stuff. Did you read when you were growing up? Were you a reader? Mm-hmm. Oh, you were? Did you have a favorite book? The Cat and the Hat. The Cat and the Hat. Oh, good. Well, um, do you look forward to coming to the doctor the next time whenever he has checkups? Uh, yeah, because I be want to make sure he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. And then and then, do you, are, do you look forward to getting new books also? Mm-hmm. She gives them some every time he comes. Oh, that's really good. That's a really important. And what are the other places that you get books besides the library? Do you all go? I don't, I don't buy books because Dr. Myers gives them books. But I haven't started buying any yet. You haven't yet? 